What's up guys? We are back in the kitchen with another installment of Cooking with Sadiq. Today, we are cooking classic Italian meatballs. Now this is a heavy dish, so it's not something you want to eat every day. This is about a one time a week type of dish, and it's very heavy, but it will not throw you off from making gains in the gym. So for this dish, you need quite a bit of ingredients, but I'm gonna break it down very simple for you guys. All you need is a quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs, quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, a whole packet of ground beef, one egg, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of parsley, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a box of pasta, two chopped garlic cloves, quarter cup of chopped onion, a loaf of Italian bread, and a big mixing bowl. Make sure to wash your hands before you get started because we are gonna be incorporating all these ingredients using our hands. Before we get started, make sure to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna start first with the ground beef. And if you want this dish to be a little healthier, if ground beef isn't your thing, why not use ground turkey breast or even ground chicken? Now we're gonna throw in our seasoned breadcrumbs. Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, we're gonna be very generous. Let's go ahead with the salt, parsley. Wow. Quarter tablespoon of pepper. Now let's get the two cloves of mixed garlic. And while we're at it, let's throw in a half a cup of chopped onions. Now we got our egg. What's up, Bobby Flay? You like this? Now this is the fun part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start incorporating and mixing these ingredients with our hands. Now, due to the fact that we're using such a lean beef, sometimes this has a tendency to get dry. So don't be afraid to mix a little water in here as you go. So now that we have all the ingredients incorporated, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start rolling these up into, I would say, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And one pound should make roughly around a dozen meatballs. Due to the fact that we're gonna bake these meatballs instead of frying them, we're gonna need a baking pan that I already took the liberty of spraying down with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. Now guys, notice the technique. This is, this is never, it's virtually unheard of for somebody to have such great meatball technique considering this is the first time he's cooked meatballs. I've seen my wife do it a handful of times. I'm a natural. Look at this. When my grandma came to this country, she said, son, you have to become a famous meatball creator. You, you, your meatballs will change the world one day. Let my meatball live through you. And this is what I'm doing. Not only do I find this very therapeutic, but it's actually giving me a really solid four and a pump. We're more than halfway through. It looks like we're gonna have more than a dozen meatballs, which is fine by me. My Nona used to take me in the kitchen to make meatballs. <laughs> My Nona was the best meatball maker around. Now, when's the last time you've seen a Yugoslavian make Italian meatballs? I am a natural. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 meatballs. Now that I just rolled the most incredible, perfect meatballs in the world, we're actually gonna throw them in the oven. Like I said before, it's preheated to 400. We're gonna keep it in at 17 to 20 minutes, depending on the strength of your oven. But here's the key. Halfway through, we gotta flip them, okay? Now that we got our meatballs cooking up to perfection, we're gonna dump in our rigatoni. We're gonna use a whole box, and we got our water, a big pot of water, on high, and it came to a boil. Once you see the boil, that's how you know you're gonna dump in your pasta. We're gonna let this cook, guys, for about 10 to 12 minutes. 
one mortal sin in my household is to have tomato sauce out of a jar. So I actually had my wife pre-make this vodka sauce for us. And this is optional. You don't have to have homemade sauce. You could get sauce out of a can, no problem. Don't let your girl catch you, it's all good. Now what's in the sauce is two cans of tomatoes, cream, vodka, and onion. Pretty simple. Now make sure you guys are stirring this periodically, otherwise you're gonna get the pasta that sticks together. All right, so the meatballs have been cooking for 10 minutes. Like I said, halfway through, you're gonna pull them out and you're gonna to want to flip these meatballs so they cook evenly. Oh yeah, that's a good meatball. Oh yeah. My Nona, right now, she's looking down from heaven. She is gonna be so proud. This one's for you, Nona. The best Nona. Number one Nona. I bought her a shirt that said number one Nona. Who's Nona? Nona is what you call a grandma. She's dead. Now that we got these meatballs flipped, we're gonna throw them back in for the remainder, which is about seven to 10 minutes. I look, judging by the meatballs, I think it's only gonna be a seven minute. And while we're here, we're just gonna stir this pasta. Oh yeah. If you guys seen Goodfellas, you'll see, all right, I heard, stir the sauce. I got it, obviously. You know what happens on the next scene. All right, 10 minutes, guys. Our pasta is done. Let's get this bad boy strained. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's some good pasta. Now that we got this pasta nice and drained, we're gonna throw it back in to the giant pan. And this is the fun part. We're gonna start to ladle in some of this sauce. We got one, a two, a three. Let's see if three is good enough. Mmm, you hear that? Hear that? Oh yeah, I know what you're thinking of. Baby, baby, please. <laughs> I like my buns a little toasted. I'm gonna cut this Italian bread. Mm -mm -mm. So we got about two minutes left on these meatballs, so I'm gonna just throw these in here. Get these a little toasted. All right, we're all done here. I'm gonna shut off the oven. Listen to the sizzle. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, please. All right, we got bread toasty. So this is actually a huge piece of bread and I'm probably only gonna eat half of this. I wanna encourage my viewers out there. I know many of you are health conscious and fitness conscious. Don't develop a bad relationship with food. Bread will not make you fat. As long as you're exercising, you're training right, you'll use it as fuel. So we're gonna take half of this and we're gonna get rid of this. Now that we got a bread cut, what we're gonna do is, I'm thinking maybe four meatballs per sandwich would be ideal. Actually three is looking pretty good. And we're gonna use some vodka sauce on there to give it a little bit more flavor. Oh yeah, this is the sexy part. Cue the romantic music. Okay. 
It is time for the favorite part of my show. This is probably one of the best parts about cooking with Sidi is when I bite into a delicious meal like this. So we got our pasta for people that not necessarily want to eat their meatballs on a hero. But for me, I'm a meatball on a hero kind of guy. So let's give this a little taste test. stop eating this. This is the part of the show where I have to tell you, number one, how difficult the meal was, and number two, what my score is. So in terms of difficulty, this is actually pretty difficult. I would say four out of five stars. So this is not for your beginner. Um, you have to be a little advanced in the kitchen to make this happen, but I believe in you. You can do it, dig deep, believe in yourself, visualize the meatball. And we're gonna talk about the score. So the score is, I would give this a 98.5, guys. So we got an A plus. Incredible dish, amazing, awesome. It's a great refeed. It's not gonna throw you off from your diet too far, as long as you have it moderately. One time a week, once every 10 days, it won't kill you. So if you guys like this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out dramatically. So I could keep on doing videos like this and thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. Peace out.